Welcome to Bonosha Wine Chikota Smart Site. I'm Asmel Lash. I'm in charge of food food production. So let's see some some activities happening on uh, food production. Uh, Bonosha Wine Chikota. So the first point we start with Earth's work and making this well that you're looking there. So we have a heavy flood coming from uh, from the neighbor's land up from the hill so we'll collect all the silt and all the organic matter coming in including water so this is the first swell so along this well we've planted plenty of things just this uh, one week activity that we have done here so we have uh, sugar cane in this well and we have pigeon pea coming up was planted last week Top of this well, we have highland cabbage. At the back, we have fodder grass, which is called banana grass. So this is well will be green and covered with all the vegetation, like like crazy next next two weeks. So we'll collect all the water coming from uh, from the Nile side. This well. So this is when we irrigate the garden at the back through under infiltration. So we have all, all we have all the seed, all the topsoil from the from the farmland coming from from the top, and we also start compost toilet here. It's under construction. Just we started last week, so this will be done soon. Let's see over some 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 activities going on on the progress of garden. This is one of one of the second garden next to the first well so this will be enjoy the moisture coming underneath from the first swell up there we have banana as a mother plant or pioneer plant here and moringa down there and next we have the second swell which will collect the overflow coming from uh, from from the first swell so if we have over flooded this, the next swell will capture the com the water coming over so the guy is planting sugar cane along this well so we have moringa tree as a pioneer tree here we have a banana and we can see all all the different species like highland cabbage white cabbage planted together so next we have a vegetable nursery we have nursery there for onion we, we have a nursery at the back of the, the solar panel, we'll see soon. So we have all this stuff and started up all the gardening. And here, we have uh, drops of water as overflow every day. So we use all this water to come in. And we have a pit here, like a compost pit. We've planted sugar cane on the top. So the, every drip, dr drop will come in and, and, and sugar cane will enjoy. So we have also vegetable nursery enjoying semi shade or some shade from uh, solar and from uh, the the chocks. So we have all different varieties of the vegetables are being ready next two weeks to be transplanted to the next garden. It's already ready. So we are still expanding the garden. So we'll copy the same thing and the third swell will come down there along the fence to capture overflow of the water. Maybe sometimes if we have heavy rain. So we need to make sure that all the water is captured here. So this space covered with grass is saved. We'll continue next to have, uh, we'll construct seed bank and store right here. And the tree nursery will be around here so that's the next right. thing that we're going to do yeah. this, all this area will be a nursery tree nursery area especially for moringa and uh, fruit trees mango avocado and here we have a um, water point of well. So that's
Good, that's my show is the last B okay. protection area. Okay, good. Because we are friendly to any animals, any plants, any living things. Good. So we are introducing and uh, making good habitat for all biomass living around. So we have bees hanging up here looking for the moisture. And we have also some birds coming every day, so we save water here for all of them. And we have plenty of birds enjoying this water and picking pests from our garden. So we invite all our assistants to work with us and make things to be very suitable for them and available. Thanks, yeah. Asmanesh. Thank, Thank you. you.